good morning or good afternoon or good evening whenever and wherever you are hailing from my name is Joanna and this is the underproduced and unedited goddess crochet podcast how are you today I am doing well it is December 20th Thursday December 20th five days until Christmas kind of crazy right have you got all your holiday gift making done I had to give up on a couple projects and when I say give up it just means the recipients will be receiving their gifts maybe a couple weeks late I had three blankets in the making um, two Havana's well one of those is mine but one gift Havana one uh, diamond overlay scrap gan and a baby blanket and there's just no way I'm going to finish those in time for Christmas so those are gonna be a little late and I had to put them aside and not stress about it because it was impossible an impossible task to get done before Christmas so I'm telling you if you have a gift that you're struggling to get done and you don't think you can make it and you're super stressed about it I am giving you permission to put that gift aside they can get it after the holidays or you can make them something easier because they don't even know that they're getting it right right <sighs> yeah so one of the gifts that I had to put aside um, I was a little ambitious okay I really wanted to make a super beautiful lace shawl for my daughter's teacher from last year we're still friends and I started this ice cream, I think it's called the Your Ice Cream Shawl, and I'll have the link to that down below in the description box. Uh, but it is really pretty lace work. And not super complicated, but you do have to pay attention to it, and I'm doing this with a fingering weight yarn, so it is taking a while. Uh, so this is not gonna be for the intended recipient. I'll just make it and probably keep it for myself instead I decided to go for something a little bit quicker uh, crochet because I crochet faster than I knit and um, I think this will be a bit more appreciated anyway because of the vibrancy of the colors so this is what I'm making instead of the ice cream shawl for my daughter's kindergarten teacher from last year and I'm giving that to her today so no chance of her accidentally seeing and spoiling the surprise on the podcast. Um, so this is my spring mesh shawl. Uh, I designed it for Yarn Crush, the subscription box service. Um, it was April's design, so it was April 2018. And this is Lion Brand Shawl in a Ball. Uh, this is the colorway Healing Teal, and I used a size eye hook to make it. The, uh, the actual pattern on Ravelry uh, uses fingering weight yarn and a smaller hook, but I went up a little bit in yarn size and hook size just to give it some nice drape, and um, she loves blue, so I, I hope that she'll love this. It's, uh, it's a pretty easy pattern and it worked up fairly quickly. I cranked this out in approximately, we'll say six to seven hours. And I made another one for my daughter's current teacher, the one I was just wearing, because her teacher likes pink, and this was about the pinkest yarn that I could find, because I don't have a whole lot of pink in my yarn stash, if I have pink, it's usually neon, not everybody's flavor. So this is another of the spring mesh shawl designed by yours truly. And it is a elongated triangle mesh. Let me zoom in a little bit. Super easy pattern, like I said. And I have a little surprise for you guys watching right now if you go to Ravelry and you would like to purchase this spring mesh shawl pattern 
uh, I am giving you half off if you use the coupon code YouTube. So that's only for the spring mesh shawl and that runs until December 31st. So put in coupon code YouTube before you check out, make sure the discount is applied and you will get this pattern for half off, which I believe it is $4.99 so you'll pay $2.50 or $2.49 for this lovely pattern. I wish I could keep this one because I really like it, but I like giving gifts more. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so the next thing I have is some more finished objects. These are gifts for my sister's in-law, which I hope they're not watching. I'm pretty sure they're not. 99.9% .9 sure they're not watching. Uh, but regardless, these are giving, getting given away on Christmas Eve, so I don't think they'll... I don't think they'll spoil the surprise. Uh, so I made four, one for each of my sister-in-laws and my mother-in-law. This little basket is actually from the August 2018 Crochet World Magazine. It's the V-stitch basket, but instead of using worsted weight yarn, I used uh, size 10, yeah, size 10 um, Lydia's crochet thread and I believe a 1.5 millimeter hook. And inside I am putting a bunch of little face scrubbies. Um, I have this in my bathroom and I use it a lot because sometimes you don't want a full washcloth to wash your face or wash your makeup off. So these are for all the ladies. This one's for my mother-in-law and the rest are for my sisters-in-law. They have a tan pink and cobalt blue so those are that <coughs> excuse me uh, the v-stitch basket and the face scrubbies um, this one I have on my blog and I will post a link in the description box below I will post a link to all the patterns and things that you see here today in the description box. You can click, super easy. And if you'd like to follow along on Ravelry, I will also post the show notes there as well. Moving on. Okay, so for the past couple years now, uh, for my daughter's school's bus monitors, the people that wait outside and have the kids get off the bus, <coughs> excuse me, um, I have made these cowls neck warmers, whatever you like to call them. Because uh, it gets really cold out and not everybody has a scarf with them at all times and these are so foldable that you can put them in your purse or keep them in your glove compartment and you'll always have them. Cozy cozy. It's called the Puzzled Cowl. This is another one of um, my designs. Uh, I say design, but it's really just some ribbing and some straight knitting. So there's not much design going on, but if you would like the pattern, you can um, check below and I'll have the description, or you can look up the Puzzled Cowl on Ravelry. The reason it's called Puzzled is I used this um, yarn from uh, Premier, I got it at AC Moore, I believe it's Premier brand puzzle yarn, and it works up, oh that's blown out a little bit, it works up really um, nicely without having to change colors, so that was one of them. This is another one, I like this one a lot because of the turquoise, really pretty. And uh, like I said, super easy pattern, started with some one by one ribbing, uh, straight stockinette and then uh, ribbing to close it out and you can bind off in pattern do like a knit one purl one and pass it over knit one pass it over the purl purl one pass it over the knit or you could just bind off in knitting if you want to it doesn't make a huge difference I used the Russian lace bind off which keeps things nice and stretchy um, that is pretty easy what you do instead of when you when you knit one uh, instead of passing one stitch over the next one you will um, knit those two together through the back loop just like you were SSKing so you knit two 
pass it back to the needle and then uh, knit through the back loop and then knit the next one and do that again with those two stitches and keep going and going and it makes a nice stretchy bind off. So that's what I tend to use for cowls and things. Speaking of cowls, I have another new pattern for you guys. Free, this one's a knitting pattern. Sorry, crocheters. I will get you taken care of shortly. Uh, this is the Mossberry Cowl. And it uses a moss stitch. I believe it's double moss. I can't remember. I think it's a double moss stitch. Uh, but it makes for like really textured uh, reversible. It's inside, inside out is the same as the other side. So that's nice. And this was done with um, Lion Brand Hometown yarn or Heartland. I think it was Hometown, but you can check the website. I have the information for you. This one is thicker and bigger and nice and cozy. This is going to um, my neighbor across the street for a Christmas present. Hopefully she's not watching. Surprise! So I have a link for you to that one. This makes a really good last minute Christmas present because it works up pretty quickly. It was done with some bulky yarn and I want to say size 11 needles. And the good thing about this pattern is I have the option for you to knit it in the round if you have circulars or you can also knit it flat. I have two sets of instructions because not everyone can knit has the right size circular needles or wants to do double points totally understandable so that is up and running and ready to go let's see okay so one more um, teacher gift this is for my daughter's principal again 99.9999 percent sure that she's not watching this is the uh, Miss Marple scarf it's a keyhole scarf. It's knitted from tip to tip. You start here with, uh, I think it's three you cast on and you increase to here and then you separate right here to make this little keyhole by putting stitches on um, a safety pin or a stitch holder and knitting them. Uh, I suggest, the pattern suggests to knit when you're separating to knit one and then put one on uh, a needle or a stitch keeper but i had a really hard time holding onto the stitches that way so instead what i did was before i even started separating i went in with um uh, a stitch keeper you could do use a needle and a piece of thread and i went every other stitch and picked up those stitches that were going to be on the safety pin so they were already on a holder before i even started knitting because otherwise you have to worry about those stitches falling off and you do not want them to do that okay so after you do that it's just long length of garter you decrease again after a while make another keyhole and then finish off the other side let's put this on so we can show you what it looks like uh, I made this with a cloud born superwash merino and <laughs> I was playing yarn chicken let me tell you, I had a very little amount of yarn left, but I was able to make exactly one of these with one skein of Cloudborn Superwash Merino. So if you have one skein of Superwash Merino and you want to make this Miss Marple scarf, you can do it. Uh, just, it's, it cuts it close. So this is going to be for, like I said, my daughter's principal. It's very classic and classy. Way to keep your neck warm. I really like it and uh, I think I want to make one for myself maybe in, in red if I do that my daughter will steal it though because she loves red so that is it for teacher gifts um, I also have some wrist warmers that I'm giving to the receptionists and the ladies that work in the office and the nurse um, but I won't show those to you today I don't have them handy we are cruising right along. We are almost done. Okay, so um, the last thing I wanted to mention is that there is the 2018 Stash Down Crochet Along still rolling along. I think the last pattern was released 
this past Monday. You have until January 7th to enter one of the items that you make or more of the items that you make onto, um, excuse me, onto the Underground Crafters website and I'll leave a link below of course. Um, and each thing that you make and upload your picture of is an entry to uh, the giveaway and there are some awesome giveaway prizes you guys. There's yarn and when I say there's yarn there's indie dyed yarn, there's paint box yarn, um, love crochet slash love knitting dot com is giving away a 60 skein box of paint box yarn which is amazing. Um, there's lotions, there's crochet hooks, there's tons of awesome prizes so you should definitely try and make something from the stash down crochet along and enter it because um, yeah there's some awesome prizes and you have a chance to win. There's good odds too because there's not like a whole ton of entries. Uh, and let's see, as far as giveaways I have a uh, one giveaway running on my blog right now for a PDF for a cute set of amigurumi um, little animals. That is only running till the end of the day today though. So if you are watching this anytime after December 20th, you are out of luck on that. But I will have more giveaways in the new year, so don't you worry. Let's see. That's about it. I have a lot of things to do today. Um, I have to wrap these gifts that I just showed you. I have um, one more puzzled cowl that I want to work on. I have to wrap regular presents. Um, and then I'm going to my daughter's school to help out with some, um, the kids are cookie decorating and having a little holiday celebration. So I'm gonna hop over and help them out with that. So that'll be fun. I always enjoy going to the school and seeing the kids. Uh, sick as they may be this time of year. Okay, uh, let's see. What to expect in 2019 from Goddess Crochet? I am moving towards more video tutorials because I have heard from some people that uh, they don't read patterns. So I really want to do some more video tutorials of the free patterns that I have out so I can make my designs more accessible because I love seeing when people post their pictures or give me a shout out of the things that they've made it really um, it really makes me all warm and fuzzy inside to see you guys you know making making some awesome things with with my patterns so we're gonna have more video tutorials I have um, I'm working on getting an area set up for that so it'll be somewhat professional but definitely clear and easy to follow along. I'm hoping to do some crochet alongs in the new year. I haven't 100% decided what that will be yet but I'm thinking maybe we'll do at least one crochet along and one knit along and of course we'll have prizes and giveaways and all that good stuff. And I think that's it. Huh. I am happy to be done with my Christmas gift making, let me tell you. Uh, it was a little stressful until I decided to put those projects aside and say, I'm not going to be able to finish you. And then the wave of relief washed over and I thought, okay, I can make some small projects instead. So like I said, if you have a huge looming project that is over your head and you know that you can't finish, put it aside. It's okay. The people you were giving it to didn't even know they were getting it anyway. Make them something different. It's okay. I give you permission. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I'm really looking forward to spending some time with my family and not being rushed and just relaxing. My daughter has a whole week off from school, so we are just going to get cozy and read books and play video games. And I might do a little bit of crocheting. Who knows? I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I will see you next year. D oh, obviously don't forget to like and subscribe, right? You guys know that. Come on now. Bye guys. Take care.